Happy Friday. Wow. Aren't <laughs> you perky today? I am. I'm just blowing everybody off their chairs with that sudden. Mike's video is going viral Woo! on Super Easy Recipes, my other channel. We did a, we did a um, recipe, which goes along with tonight's show, on a roast. And I just had a picture of Mike with a plate and it's taking off and shooting through the sky, which we're so happy about. I'm Hot ready, dog. I'm ready for my close up now, Mr. DeVille. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Today we had chat GPT. Is that what it's called? Yes. Okay. Do an outline for us just to see what it would come up with. So today we have 15 ways to make mealtime stress-free and I'm going to tell you whether I agree or not with it. Do you think I'm going to mostly agree or not mostly agree? I no you're cheating. Just going to use it to remind you of tips that you already give. I changed my mind. I see. All right. Number one, meal planning. Set aside time each week to plan your meals. This helps save time and ensures you have ingredients on hand. How? Do, what do you think I answer for that? Do I agree or disagree? Well, you have ingredients on hand, but you don't plan. <laughs> I don't plan every week. I don't even come close to planning every week. I don't even plan every day. So what I do is I have a rotating pantry that I just keep stocked with foods, with ingredients to make recipes that I always make, have the same 10 meals, give or take, spring and fall, or I mean, spring and summer, fall and winter. And then I just rotate through those. I really don't plan. I mean, I, I know it helps some people and that's totally fine. I get it. But one day I'm going to, you know, one day I'm going to need um, to skip dinner because we had to change plans and go somewhere else or another day. Oh, I thought we were going out and we're not going to be home. And so, and so we are going to be home. So I'll have to have something. So I just usually cook from my pantry and my freezer. Oh my goodness. Sorry, guys. I don't know why my back is it's so bad. You're supposed and to have your assistant do that. Who am for I you. thinking of? The producer's supposed to do that for you. Thank you, Mr. Producer. <laughs> and um, then I just keep my pantry full of food that's been on sale and I just cook from that. So, like yesterday, I went to the store, I went grocery shopping, and I got. A chicken, a couple of chickens, and I got some ground beef, three ninety seven for ninety and ninety three percent. And so I ended up making meatballs tonight and made chicken last night. And so I normally wouldn't have planned that, except the store had those on sale. So I just kind of work around what is on sale, what I have, and what I need to use up. All right, guys, it is our Mother's Day sale right now. What? 50% is... off if you buy our book sets. That includes Dining One and Dining Volume Number Two as one set, or if you need all three, including our gluten-free, dairy-free. Otherwise, they are 40% off for Mother's Day. Grab them now. We've only had this sale three other times, and the last time was three years ago. When we moved. Well, and at that time we said we're never going to mark we're never 50% gonna do it again. off again. <laughs> but we had a family emergency, as you guys know. So, so we thought you're trying to move inventory. So our loss is your gain. Happy Mother's Day almost, guys. All right. Number two, prep ingredients in advance. Chop vegetables, marinate meats, pre-cooked grains ahead of time to streamline the cooking process. All right. I do and I don't do this. I do cook a big batch of rice and then we have it for two or three days, depending on how many people are eating. I have teenagers, so they're in and out depending on who's home and who's not. As a matter of fact, my 14 year old yesterday said, mom, I'm going to have to get a calendar. My social life is just getting out of hand. <laughs> it like, is. Wow. <laughs> so, um, so I do do that. I don't just pick like Sunday and spend all day cooking Sunday for the week. What I do is when I'm making ground beef, I will cook up five pounds instead of one pound and then prepackage it and put it in the freezer. It literally takes me less than five minutes after it's cooked. It doesn't take 
just a few more minutes to cook it. And then I don't have to cook the meat. I will cook three pounds of chicken and only eat one and save the next two pounds for two more dinners the next two days. So yes, I do kind of do that. Use one pot recipes. Choose recipes that require minimal cleanup by cooking everything in one pot or pan. Oh my goodness, I am the one pot queen. I hate making extra dishes and doing extra dishes. So I go extremely minimal. If you guys go to my other channel, super easy recipes. You can, Michael put the link in there for you. But you'll see I'm very minimalistic when it comes to cooking. Embrace sheet pan dinners. Well, actually, I was going to say on the one dish thing, it's funny because Tara's always, she's always been kind of one dish oriented, but it's funny that some of the recipes say, in a bowl, do this, and then in a separate bowl, do that. And she's consolidated it in the years to just dump it all in the one bowl. Yeah. Yep. So. I do. As a matter of fact, I was editing a video where I made croutons today. And I was like, and I even said in the video, I don't know why I broke these bread pieces up in a bowl because I just break it on the cookie sheet before I put the seasonings on. So I have no idea why I did that. <laughs> but that's well, okay. I think maybe you over time as you realize, man, I need to be more efficient. Well, now that one, I never, I never put bread. I never put dried. Maybe I was drying them in the bowl or something. I can't remember, but I just thought it was funny. The next one is embrace sheet pan dinner. Sheet pan meals are easy to prepare with minimal. Yeah. If you guys will notice like three, I think of one of the most recent, like not the most recent recipes, but well, yeah, one of the most recent recipes, like the last two weeks, I've had three sheet pan dinners on super easy recipes also. Why? Because it's super easy. You just throw it all in there, throw it in the oven, and bake it. It's literally five minutes prep time. I really don't spend more than five minutes cooking dinner. And then I'll spend about 10 or 15 minutes cleaning up afterwards. And that's it. I really don't. Uh, use slow cookers and instant pots. Yes. If you work throw it in there in the morning and then leave it all day. And then when you get home, you're going to have delicious dinner. Now I'm not, I don't think instant pots save you time really. Cause it's funny. Cause one of Jack's friends two or three years ago said, Oh, mom's making dinner in the instant pot. It's going to be eight o'clock before we eat. <laughs> he, said, <laughs> he said, there's nothing instant about it. <laughs> it was pretty yeah. funny. Ed. It was like, I don't know, 10 or 12 at the time. Double or triple recipes. Yes, I do cook big batches. And what I do is I don't cook huge batches. Now, today I happened to cook a big batch of meatballs and meatloaf only because I had gotten the meat on sale and I didn't want to freeze it and have to defrost it again and all that. So I did make I think I made like 100 meatballs and four meatloafs loaves maybe, maybe 130 meat meatballs. And so in that situation I did, but you don't have to do that. You can just double or triple your recipe and then either freeze it or save it for lunches or another dinner later in the week. Everyone's being feisty. Oh no. What's happening? Wanda says it also helps if you don't leave part of it in the oven. LOL. Isn't that right, Tara? Who me? <laughs> Would I do something like that? All the time. <laughs> In yesterday's video, I found my potatoes I'd left in there. <laughs> I remember when we were still in Colorado, <clears throat> you had a, gone out to with, to make a video to put something on the grill. And when you open it up, there was burned up meat <laughs> on the grill that we forgot about. Yep, it was. <laughs> number seven, keep staples stocked. Yes, this is what I do. This goes back to number one with the meal planning. Guys, this is the only way to save time and money in the kitchen. We... I, have I ever, we have been married 30 years. Have I ever said to you, I just don't feel like cooking. Let's go out to eat. I don't no. think I've ever said that phrase ever. Well, you have said, would you like a taco date? But I mean, we do, a taco, we do date. a taco date. Yeah. Yeah. No. But I've never, even when my kids were little, we never took the family out except for Sunday after church. We had a tradition until food prices went up, till grocery, till restaurant prices went up. 
about a year and a half, two years ago. Um, I have never said that phrase. I'm too tired to cook. Let's go out to eat. Eat cereal if you have to. But there are so many easy meals. Like the other night, one of my most recent videos, I threw a sausage link on a sheet pan, on a cookie sheet. I cut up some potatoes, literally five minutes worth of work, put some olive oil and some seasoned salt on there, threw it in the oven. In 30 minutes, it was baked. I threw a bag of broccoli in the microwave. Dinner was ready. And I didn't have to do any work. And everybody was fed. And it cost us $6 for four of us. Shop seasonally. Yes. Guys, don't be buying strawberries all year long. Blueberries, blackberries. I am shocked at the amount of berries people buy. I only buy those things in June, July, and August. And then I wait till they go on sale and I stock up and I put them in my freezer. Buy frozen produce. Yes. Frozen vegetables and frozen fruit is a lot cheaper a majority of the time. Not always. I know some people live in some places where it might be cheaper, but get it when it's the cheapest. Um, oh, oh, we're repurposing leftovers. That's what it's called now, dear, instead of eating leftovers. <laughs> get creative with leftovers by transforming them into new dishes. Guys, you are not eating leftovers. You are pre-cooking for the next meal. I will make three pounds of chicken, shred it all up, and then I will take that chicken and make it into, what, three, 12 meals. So three to four meals for the three or four of us, depending on who's eating. Invest in time-saving tools. Food processor, blender, mandolin, help up speed up food, pro food prep. I don't agree with this. What was it? You're going to spend just as much time cleaning a food processor as you would just taking a knife and just cutting it up. I'm sorry. Food processors are a pain in the patootie to use. But that little chopper thing is pretty good. Now, I do have the little chopper. That is handy. And all you have to do is rinse that. But a food processor, you got to take all these pieces apart, make sure you get everything clean. It's just a big pain in the rear. The next one is cook once, eat twice. Yes, this is the same thing as repurposing leftovers. That's what I do. I just will take, like yesterday, I roasted a chicken. So that's going to be three or four meals for us. Keep it simple. Focus on recipes with fewer ingredients and straightforward preparation. Yes, that's why my channel, Super Easy Recipes, is going viral today. Hot dog. I think it's just um, the male model on the thumbnail. I think. <laughs> Please don't scare them away. I'm begging, I'm begging you. Um, <laughs> I got her speechless. Uh, as a matter of fact, keep it simple. I really don't use a lot of different ingredients. I usually only cook dinners that have three to five ingredients because I just don't spend that much time. Like today I made meatballs and spaghetti sauce, but only because I had tomatoes from my garden last year that I need to get used up out of my freezer. And otherwise I would have just used, you know, canned spaghetti sauce and then the meatballs. So I, you know, I keep it really simple and just keep it down. As a matter of fact, my other recipe channel used to be called five ingredient recipes because everything I cook is usually five ingredients or less. Batch cooking. These are all the same tip. Chat GPT needs to get their act together. These aren't very crazy. They're all the same thing, just reworded differently. So what I asked, because <clears throat> Tara was like, I don't know what to talk about. And we had a general topic in mind. And I said, well, let's just ask <laughs> the AI to tell us what people are asking about. And this is what it said. <laughs> so here you go, people. <laughs> just kidding. All right. Send comments and questions, guys. And Mike will send them to me. Uh, batch cooking. I mean, spend a few hours on the weekend cooking large batches of staple foods like light rice, quinoa, jilled, grilled chicken. No, don't do that. Yes, I do that, but I don't do that. I don't go and just 
spend hours. I have never understood this freezer cooking batch thing, batch cooking thing. I mean, I guess if it works for you, that's fine, but you're spending the same amount of time. I would rather spend 15 minutes a day cooking than to go and spend three to six hours on my weekend and do all of that. My recipes are so quick and so easy. Guys, get Dining on a Dime cookbooks right here. Volume one and volume two. And if you're gluten-free, right here, 40% off for Mother's Day, 50% for the sales. These recipes are so easy. You will get in and out of the kitchen quick. You will get in and out. We and have Tara's, viewer after viewer testify. And Tara's all about the quick. Like she I am. Hates I hate being cooking. in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Although it's funny when you do the videos, you don't look like you hate it as much. <laughs> because she likes being a a role model. Well, I don't <laughs> mind cooking. I don't like complicated cooking. If there's too many details and too many steps, I'm not going to do it. I am the biggest picture person you ever met. Details are not even close to being my thing. <laughs> Would you agree? I agree. And so, yeah. Um, and the last one is take advantage of convenience foods. While homemade is ideal, there's no shame in using pre-cut vegetables, pre-cooked grains, rotisserie chicken. Yes, there is. I'm sorry. But pre-cut vegetables and pre-cooked grains is ridiculous. Those are one of the most expensive things in the store. They said pre-cut vegetables is the top. Bananas are number one. Pre-individualized packaged chips are number two and pre-cut vegetables are number three tied with, with the chips is what the cashier told me when I asked her. And I was like, I see that. Yes, the male model made all the difference. You're just, <laughs> you're just hovering on that, on that comment, aren't you? No, I'm just encouraging everyone. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, if you're trying to save money, do not use pre-cut vegetables, pre-cut grains. It literally takes five minutes to do this. If you are so busy that you can't do that, you need to start cutting some things out of your life. Rotisserie chicken. Okay. I'm all right with a rotisserie chicken. Most of them aren't that expensive. They run between five and $7. That's a very reasonable price. That's about 99 cents a pound. I'm good with that. It costs the same having them uh, cook it as it would at home if you bought it on sale. So I'm okay with the rotisserie chicken, but not the other ones. So that is what the Mr. AI computer dude, you can send it to me, says that you guys should be doing for making mealtime stress-free. I don't know if I agree with them or not, but hmm. Maybe. Your biggest so, thing is you just, you get something amazing and put it together quick. My biggest thing is quick. Yeah. Yeah. I get tired and I don't feel like standing on my feet anymore. And so I just want to get in and out quick. And um, it has to still taste good. It, it's very frustrating going to the restaurant, paying a ridiculous amount of food, and I could make it better at home. I absolutely hate that. Guys, if you're liking <clears throat> these tips, please give us a thumbs up. Click that thumbs up button. Also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe while Mike is getting me the questions. Please check out our Dining on a Dime cookbooks. Mother's Day sale. We only have this sale twice a year. This low. And it won't be this low, probably 50% off unless we have some other emergency. Also, our gluten-free, dairy-free edition. Yeah, the 40% is, is something we only do we twice only a do year, twice but the 50% we haven't done in three yeah. years. We've, we've only done that like two or three times when we were moving, and that was it. But guys, look, full color pictures, 1,200 recipes and tips in volume one, get you in and out of the kitchen quick, everything from salad dressings to cleaning supplies, to kids' supplies. I mean, we've got homemade taco seasoning. We got it all. Sun-dried tomatoes. Jack, Jacqueline says she made the sun-dried tomatoes in volume one, the red one. People need to try this recipe. The flavor is amazing, isn't it? I know. She says she had, 
she asked us, she said, I have to say, Tara, that we eat better now than we ever have. You eat pretty good, don't you? Yeah, a little too much are pretty good. <laughs> yes, I do eat good. Last night, oh, should I tell or is that an upcoming video? It's probably a video, but what did we have? I don't remember. Well, um, what, you had the roast chicken, right? But it was mm -hmm. the... Oh, yeah, the... the uh... Roast sticky chicken. But she you know? also, which we, we eat that a lot and we love it. But what it was on my mind, though, is she made these. It was like monkey bread, some kind of pull-apart bread that was super made garlic garlic oh. Garlic pull-apart bread. Mike is the garlic king. Was it delicious? No vampires around here. That's for sure. <laughs> yes, it was amazingly delicious. I, I probably ate a little too much. <laughs> All right. Let me see if Mike got the first questions to me here. Yes, he did. Okay. Elizabeth says, Mike and Tara on the $7 chicken meals, that per meal, not all 10 right. So $7 for each meal for four people. So what? $2.25 of serving. Brittany, <clears throat> I want that roast now, but can't afford it. Well, watch for it to go on sale. They just went on sale last week for us, so they might come around again. Jan, hello from Montana. Hello. Yesterday she got a scam, scam text telling me my script was ready at Ridley's and Sheridan. Oh my goodness. Besides knowing it was fake, I laughed because I knew Ridley's from your show. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> wow. Man, those scammers are getting really good, aren't they? She's in Montana. Well, I'm wondering, you know what? <clears throat> I got to thinking maybe... Because there are a lot of people here with Montana oh, phone numbers. Oh, I know what happened. Somebody maybe they, their maybe phone they number. Maybe they entered a phone number one digit off and it ended up going to yours. I bet they did. So maybe it wasn't actually I've had a that happen, actually. Yeah, I bet It'd they be did It would be weird that. for scammers to know that Ridley's exists. Yeah. <clears throat> but you never know, I, I bet guess. that's what happened. Uh, Wanda, meal planning doesn't work for me. I write something down and within two days I change it. Me too. Yeah. Edifying Gravity says Win Dixie has 20% back on meat this week. Take advantage. Yep. Only if you have but one nearby and if the sales are good. Very good. Yes. Uh, Michelle said yesterday she's found blueberries. Buy one, get one free. That can or cannot be a good deal. It just depends on your area. Vicky says, I make us, she, we make her smile. Thank you. Belinda, happy Friday evening to y'all in the USA. She must not be there. Oh yeah, she's over. Is she England? I think I'm, she's England. Glad, I great to be Australia. able to catch. Oh, she Australian. Oh yeah, maybe she's Australian. Uh, great to be able to catch another live show. Love all your easy and affordable meal ideas. Thank you for all you do, all you share, or all you, all that you share. Excuse me. God bless you. Thank you. Thanks. And I didn't even sneeze. That was nice. <laughs> yes. Hello, says Alverson says chicken drumsticks and whole chicken for 99 cents in some places. They don't hear in Sheridan, unfortunately. Donna loves the cookbooks and highly recommends them. Karen says it's the tux you bought him. Actually, it was, it was the tux that I bought my son, but yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, you were talking about, there was something you said about Jack. And oh, his social life. Oh, it was the tux that, the oh, tux. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <gasps> mm. I need to go find another vest tomorrow at the thrift stores for him because the there's one with the tux, but it's the kind with the open back. And he's probably gonna take off the jacket, so he wanted one that had a full back on it. Um Tammy says I love casseroles for that reason. Yes. And we have a whole page, two pages, or three pages, two or three pages just dedicated to mix and match casserole ideas. Also, if you guys want our price book, that is 25% off. That will save you a ton at the grocery bill or on the grocery bill and our undated planners, guys, we are selling them, but they're 20% off. And only like 40 left or something. There's not very many left. I don't know. We didn't count today, but we're, we're shipping them out. Helps you get organized. There is meal planning in there because I know a lot of people like meal planning, but I don't. In the uh, Tanya, Jack's 14. He'll be ready for driver's training soon. Yes, we have got less. We've got seven weeks. <laughs> so start praying for us, please. Um, Claire. See, I finally figured out her name. It's a Claire Trio, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, now I see it. 
I see it now. My eyes are open. Actually, since you're there, on the next set of comments, I had it here, but she said, yes, we're having a dinner tonight at the very famous and very close by restaurant called Chez Claire. <laughs> that's funny. Darlene says, that's what I do, making of the banana bread all in one bowl. Yes, I love. Oh, man, volume one, the red one, is the best banana bread in your whole life. Froze family says, good morning from Japan. Wow. She said it's snowing cherry blossoms. That would be that cool. Be beautiful, I can imagine. She says, simplify the cooking. Yes, not every meal has to be a masterpiece. Yeah, it can still be very tasty without completely wearing you out. Tanya, my youngest is 16 and still getting ready to do segment two. We drove in the city, a bunch of crazy people. Oh, yeah. Wanda, I only buy berries when they're on sale. Yep. Melissa, we are dining on a dime and not eating out anymore. Subway was $20 for two sandwiches. Are you kidding me? $20 for two Subways? I, I haven't bought one there in a while. Okay. I think I'm going to have to go to Subway and look at their sandwiches and make them at home and see how much they are. <clears throat> I was actually surprised. Ridiculous. I've been hearing ads on the radio for some product, and it says... You know, when it costs you $20 to get a hamburger and fries, I was like, where do you live? It's expensive here, but not that expensive. <clears throat> well, I guess if you go to a fancy place, it's that expensive. Elaine says, watermelons are $8 right now and people still buy them. I don't understand that. I cannot understand that. And then they complain about grocery prices. That's what makes me mad. Margaret, prepping meals, no leftovers is what I say. Yes, just eat them for the next meal. Um, Belinda, I also make up a sheet pan meal of crumbed or non crumbed fish fillets. Oh, yeah, potatoes, green beans, and other veggies need to be roasted, etc. Delicious and quick. Yes. Julie, I personally am on the third day of roast sandwiches, a bunch of Miracle Whip bread and butter pickles. Yum, that would be very delicious. Amber, my mom wants to go out to eat for her birthday, but I am trying to save money. Should I feel bad for not going? It's her birthday. Oh, oh, thank you. Wasn't quite ready for that, but okay. <laughs> thank you. Um, it's like the makeup artist from that magazine. I guess, yeah. <laughs> um, well, it's your mom's birthday. Take her out for her birthday. Yeah, you should feel bad for not going on her birthday. Take your mother out for her birthday. Heather of the Mountains. I only take out my food processor if I have large amounts of food to process. Yeah. I'll use it if I have big amounts. Send me the next one. But I don't use it if I um, just have to cut up a little bit of cabbage or something. Kathy! I would rather eat at home due to the cost and the taste. Yes. Oh, and by the way, speaking of Kathy, because she used to always send me stuff. Whoever sent me those darn too cute gnome steak lights, there was no name in there. But whoever sent me those, thank you. Those are the cutest little things ever. I forgot to bring them over. I should have brought them over. You want me to get them? But whoever it was that brought those, thank, or bought those for me, thank you. Um... Jan, I'm going to have to be sure to watch today's recipe after the lime sheet. Yes. Belinda, loved our recent repurposed video of the roast. Used to make fajitas with leftover roast. Yes, it is so delicious, isn't it? And Susan says, oh, I made it's... chili with the fajita seasoning recipe today. Yes. Right here. Volume one is our fajita seasoning. And volume two, we keep talking about the Montreal seasoning. It's in volume two. Oh, it is? Yeah. I didn't know we had a recipe mm -hmm. for that. Yep. See, even I'm, I'm learning stuff. <laughs> um, and also, guys, in your daily planner here, if you get if you have the daily planner, another thing you can do is when you go in and you have stuff you need to use, instead of just writing out the whole dinner if you don't want to, just go and put certain days. Okay, I need to use the roast. Need to use tomatoes whatever, put those notes in there. And then when that day comes up, you can say, okay, today I'm going to make my, <clears throat> my dinner with X recipe. Um, 
All right. Um, Claire Trio says, yes, we are having dinner tonight at the very, oh yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Brittany, where do you find good thin washcloths for dishes? They all seem to be rather too big or thick. I'll tell you, Walmart has some right now. They're really, really thin. They are on either the top or bottom shelf. They keep moving them, but they're a package of like 10 and they're really super thin. And they're really nice. I really like those. So go check Walmart in the kitchen section. They were on the top or bottom shelf. I should get a commission or something for this. But <laughs> um, let me see if I can find them here real quick and see. They, I mean, they're really thin. I'm not, oh man, I'm not seeing them. Hmm. Well, shoot, I'm not seeing them on the website, but they had them. There was like five or 10 in a little pack and, and the package was like this big. So they're very, very thin, but they were really nice and work really good, but I'm not seeing them on their, oh, wait, no but I'm not seeing them on their website. So just go check Walmart and see if they have any, cause they did. Otherwise you could make your own, just find some thin material like a flower sack dishcloth and um, just soap your own if you want. Uh, Rhonda, rotisserie chicken is cheap here. Cheaper than raw chicken. Yes, a lot of times stores use the rotisserie chickens to get people into the store and buy more expensive stuff to go with the chicken. And so it can a lot of times be cheaper. Um, Jan, I love that your recipes do not contain a lot of ingredients usually. Yeah, it's very rare that I get above six or seven ingredients. I mean, it's really rare. Now, like I don't buy Italian seasoning. I don't buy taco seasoning packets. So in those situations, yes, it's more ingredients, but it's just basic spices. It's just onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne, oregano, salt, pepper. I mean, it's just basic seasonings that you're going to have on hand anyway. So I just keep a few basic seasonings and just use those. One day I use pre-cut onions sometimes because I have trouble cutting. I, now, I know there's always an exception to the rule. I'm not saying you, Wanda. So someone's probably going to holler at me, but I would say that would be the exception to the rule of buying pre-cut fruits and vegetables is if you have a problem with your hands, then please buy the pre-cut fruits and vegetables and be, be thankful for it. Um, Margaret, I made an egg roll in a bowl for supper tonight. So easy cooked in a large fry pan, ground turkey, shredded cabbage, er carrots, onions, ginger, garlic. Yep. Serve with rice noodles, $7. Yep. It's super good, isn't it? Jennifer, I don't understand why people think it takes so long. Here's the next one. To cook dinner, what are they making? She's right, Kip. It's an, I know. I go to some of these cooking things and I'm like, seriously, people? Do, and what I don't understand, I guess people are just watching it for the entertainment value. But some of them, I'm like, you have 10 million views. How does this, vid, how does this recipe have 10 million views? What was it for? Huh? What, what, what is the, the, the comment was about? About making it have a lot of ingredients. Oh, yeah. Um, so I guess they're watching it for the entertainment value, but I'm like, who's going to actually do all this work to cook these things? I don't know. Well, I think it is the entertainment value. You're talking about those ones that look like uh, a sculptor came in and built it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wanda says, I like getting Safeway's meatloaf. It makes me at least three meals. It's cheaper for me than buying all the ingredients. Yeah, sometimes it might be. That's totally true. So just check and see. Connie, Dining on a Dime is her favorite cookbook. She gave all of my others away because she never used them after getting our Dining on a Dime cookbook. Thank you so much, Connie. Yes, guys, 50% off right now. If you buy the sets, 40% off the individual books. 
20% off our planners and 25% off our price books. Guys, get our price book. You just put the store up here and then your lowest price. Just do it in pencil. And then I guess I need to just have the boys develop me an app, don't I? Yes. The one that says stop when they get too close to the store. Yeah. Yeah. And then you just put your price in there. And then if it goes on sale for lower, you'll know what a good stock up price is. So that way I just always keep the lowest price in there. So then I don't have to question if it's on sale, is that a good price or not? How long is the sale? What day does it end? May 4th? 3rd? May 3rd. Friday, May 3rd. Yep. We did that so that people who get paid at the beginning of the month can still get it. But don't wait too long, especially if you want a planner. Yeah. Uh, Belinda, easy click meals with delicious and portable ingredients for a quick and tasty dinner. Great for when I'm feeling exhausted. Yes. Grace Acre Acres, does Tara sign the cookbooks? Um, sometimes if, if people ask, I will. If I get too many, I won't be able to, but put a little note when you order and I'll try and do it for you. Mommy and three kids. Jewel will have beef roast $2.99 for their next sale starting the 24th. Wow. I wish I knew where World Jewel was because I would be stocking up. TJ! That's me, TJ. I saw that too. Just ordered two books. Thank you so much. She's looking forward to dining on a dime. Thank you. Wendy, hi from Canada. Debt and mortgage free, saving for a car. Never dreamed of buying a car in cash. Yes, you can do it. I'm surprised how many people don't really believe they can buy a car in cash. Vicki, if you can save up for pay, I mean, if you can make payments, you can save up. Vicki, I made chicken and rice, and then I stir fry vegetables with my cold chicken rice today. Very good. Mm -hmm. We eat that all the time. Pat, I have a little chopper that I got at Kohl's like six years ago for $5, and it works amazing. Me too. I love my little chopper. Donnie says, my sister bought Mama a food processor, and she didn't like it at all. I didn't think she used it, but once we <laughs> I have one, and honestly, the only thing I use it is when I'm shredding large things of cabbage and carrots for coleslaw. That's the only time I use it. Kimberly, it was hamburger and fries tonight, dinner in 20 minutes. The hamburger started frozen. Very good. She just stuck the lid on the pan and kept the grease in, and it cooks the hamburger faster. Yes, it does. That is a tip that I do all the time, and actually, it's coming up in a video soon. What are you guys thinking about the new tips videos? Are you liking them? Tell me what you think, because I'm curious if you're liking them. They're like, what tips videos? <laughs> Just... True. I'm joking. Nobody said that. <laughs> well, according to the data, they're liking them. So yay. I hope so. Margaret says she loves them. Type one if you love the two new tip videos and type two if you don't. I'm curious to see where you guys Ooh, are. I see a couple other people saying they love the them too. The analytics are telling me that you guys are loving them, but I got to get my bangs trimmed. They're driving me crazy. Oh, yay. They're liking them so far. Ha! Huh, we had two Debbies in a row. That's funny. <laughs> Dunny says your cookbooks are wonderful and the planner also. Everyone should get one. I have them all. Thank you. I'm so glad you like them. Becky, any ideas for making next one? Large amounts of food for benefit. My daughter has cancer and family is providing food for the event. Uh, well, I mean, oh man. Well, first of all, sorry about your daughter. Um, large amounts of food. Well, so Dining on a Dime Volume 1 has really good bean goulash, really good potato salad, really good coleslaw. White chili. Chili. Award-winning white. Oh, that's in two. Yeah, the spaghetti is really good. Um, but what I would do is either that for that one, or we have a casserole mix and, mix and match here that's really good. So you can make a couple of casserole dishes. But... The thing is, is what I would do is just see what meat, if you're doing a main dish or meat dish, I would see which meat is on sale and then go from there is what I would do. All right, I will send this. Pat, 
I refuse to pay for chopped up onions, bell peppers, etc. Now the thing is, sometimes frozen chopped peppers and onions are cheaper. So I should put a little caveat to my little thing there because sometimes onions and peppers are cheaper already chopped than they are at the store. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do that for another tip to go and check and see is it cheaper right now. It just depends on how much the onions you're paying for them. Well, the frozen ones are cheaper oftentimes. So we've used those as meal starters. For yeah. That. Yeah. Donnie says, I can't believe what they are charging for cut up fruits. It's ridiculous. Yep. I agree. Jacqueline, I made your sun-dried tomatoes. Oh, yeah. She was loving the sun-dried tomatoes. Aren't those good? Those are in volume one. As a matter of fact, I was editing that video today, too. That's so funny. Lori Ann's birthday. Happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday. Kay says we got She's 22. two. <laughs> I just made that up. Sorry. Kay says we got two orders of chickens. Okay. So is that two orders of little baby chicks? Or is that like two boxes of chickens? Who knows what kind of chickens? It matters. <laughs> mm, Jacqueline, I bought whipping cream marked down to half price. Froze it. And I'm buying it in the microwave right now. I'll use part of the liter to make chicken alfredo. Oh, yeah. Right here, chicken alfredo. Also go to Super Easy Recipes on YouTube. And the video's there and the recipe's at livingonadime.com. I'm going to share that link again for Super Easy Recipes. Actually, I'm kind of surprised that Facebook is letting that one go. They don't let us put YouTube links in the description on Facebook. Mm. <laughs> but I guess they do let us put it in the comments. All right. Pat says, fast food is outrageous. It is expensive in Texas. I believe it. Kimberly, I got a French loaf half of off at Walmart last time for a dollar. We made our own subs. Yes. Very good. Diana, I haven't gone to a restaurant in years, so I got the urge for restaurant food. I make my own. The other night I made hot hamburger sandwiches, packet gravy. Yep. Darlene, by the way, if you guys need to know how to make gravy, the red volume one, that's really good gravy. I edited that video today, too. Can you tell I was editing a whole bunch of short videos for tips today? Darlene, good advice has paid off, stocked, and wouldn't you know, stage four cancer has me out of work since early February. I'm ready in pantry because of your knowledge. Blessings to you and your family. Darlene, I am so sorry. About your oh, cancer, man. Yeah. But I'm so glad that you were prepped. I'm sure that makes it a lot easier for dinners, not having to worry about food all the time. Not that you maybe feel like eating it, though, but... Jenny, yeah, I haven't been on the live in forever. I love y'all. My sinuses are messed up. Yeah, everybody's are. We're really having issues here. Yeah, we're, we're sucking on cough drops so we don't clear our throats so much. Um, <coughs> she also <laughs> says, do we ever age? Do we look the same as we have for the last 17 years on YouTube? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Cleaning fairy just Today, I went to my local Walmart and found rotisserie chickens for $3.98. So I picked up two and pre-cut vegetables and fruits were marked down too. That's great. I would do that then. Yes. And I used to buy rotisserie chickens all the time and I would just throw the whole thing in the freezer. The Country Humans uh, Network says, how do you make dozens of pizzas taste like pizza from a pizzeria? Well, the trick to making it if, uh, like pizzerias is, is they're cooking it on a, a baking stone and they cook it really super hot, like five, degrees. 600 degrees. I don't know. It's some ridiculously high temperature. So that, but I don't know. Um, I do know the pizza stones help though. Darlene, anyone make a great store with Easter, score with Easter candy? I did not get any Easter candy at all. I only shared a couple things that people said yeah. there, but most people were saying no. One person well, said 25% off was the lowest it went. Really? Wow. Wow. Joyce, Brock's jelly beans for 30 cents a bag. Oh, now that would be yummy. The Country Humans Network paid 50 cents package for Easter candy. That's not bad, depending on what it is. 
Amber just got Dining on a Dime Volume 2. Thank you, Amber. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Larry, <laughs> grow your own. I'm waiting for blackberries, harvesting salad grains, and planning on planting lots of other stuff. Grow your food. Yes. If you like gardening. Now, if you don't like gardening and you have a black fun, just don't waste your time gardening. It's totally fine. I personally like to garden. As a matter of fact, I'm trying to not panic because I have to get my fix fence repaired before my uh, lettuce all comes up in the next week or so. And the rabbits eat it. So I'm going to have to get my cute little boute out there and figure out what to do with that. Uh, Belinda. Her husband is turning 50 tomorrow. Wow. Tell him happy birthday. We normally have a roast of some kind with roast fetch cheese on Sunday evening. Looking for ideas for a special dessert to make at home tomorrow. Oh, I mean, well, I mean, I don't know what he likes. Any of our desserts in the cookbooks are on our website, livingonadime.com. Go and check some of the desserts, especially like the Valentine's, like the red velvet cake, something like that. Any of those would be really good or just a really good chocolate cake. I was going to say, I love the chocolate one. Yeah. Lots of extra chocolate. Lori, once a week we clean out the fridge and have muscos. That's where I pull leftovers from the fridge. Musco. Yep, that's great. Hello, Nancy in Montreal. Jan says, Tara's lava cake is easy and delicious if he likes chocolate. Yes. Yes, hot fudge cake, lava cake. People call it different things. I can't remember what we have it in the cookbook. I I thought it was hot fudge cake, but I think on the more recent version, we might have also put lava cake. I can't yeah, I might for have. Sure. Uh, when she said, when Nancy said she was from Montreal, it's because you were talking about the Montreal seasoning. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Jenny, so glad I just saw the hot fudge cake. It's a winner. Yes, it's very good. Oh, my Lanta says, I found I cook tacos or roast, then leftovers get turned into casserole. Yep, very good. Uh, Jenny says to have you tell me hi. Hello from Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> we really got to get out more. Sorry. And unlike Jack, our social life is well, your social, you're, you're leaving in a few minutes. So I guess your social life is, is rocking, isn't it? Yep. Um, Jenny. Get to go watch man uh, movies with men. <laughs> Oh, don't get me started on Christian men at the moment. That, have you guys seen that whole thing on the men's conference? Hey, these are some oh, upstanding Christian men. Yes, they are. <laughs> like, and we get the giant bag of popcorn unlike from the movie theater. Unlike <laughs> twerps in Missouri, my goodness. Love and Jesus. I bought some dish rags and dish towels last Saturday at a churchyard sale for 10 cents each. That's great. Denise, I use cheap microfiber cloths for dishes. Yes, those work for some people. Michelle, she likes Pioneer Woman on TLC, but could never find a recipe I could recreate. Yep, exactly. That's why I pretty much show everything I do wrong in my videos. So you guys can see, no, I don't have a perfect kitchen. Yes, I'll splat something or something will boil over and we still eat it. Something will be set on fire and we will still eat it. So, yes. Usually when we put the fire out, then it's fine. <clears throat> Just don't use any chemicals for the fire. <laughs> Just, well, I, I'm thinking of the Thanksgiving one. Oh, except we didn't eat that. We gave it to the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she, she ate it, didn't she? <laughs> well, I think we tested it and it was fine. Jenny says, I bet those deer are in full swing in your all's yard now. Actually, they're not. They haven't been around for a while. They were here like two or three days ago sleeping in the backyard. It's been the pheasants that have been around a lot the last few days. As a matter of fact, there was one in the yard, and it was kind of crouched down, and I thought the neighbor's chickens had gotten loose, and I was getting ready to call her until I realized it was a pheasant, but it had scratched down, so it looked like a, looked like a chicken. I was wondering if we haven't seen the deer as much because at one point neighbors dogs were escaping into our yard uh, but usually if they're gone for a little while the deer come back so haven't seen too many of them in our yard lately <laughs> yeah um okay let's see looks like we might have a problem going on so we might check down a little bit yeah i see 
Um, da -da 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 -da. Margaret says, do you like Tara says? Thank you. Could you say that again, Margaret? Do you like Tara says? Could you say that again, Margaret? Do you like Tara says? <laughs> Rotate your meals for two weeks or so. Yes, exactly. You are right. That way you have several go-to meals when you're tired after work. Exactly. Celia says, Cecilia, your cookbook literally taught me how to cook. It's a lifesaver. The cleaning and beauty recipes are great too. Thank you so much. Guys, our Mother's Day sale is right now, so go grab it. We only have 50% off, extremely rarely, only done it 300 times, and the last time was three years ago. Kimberly Nash, if you just spend a few extra dollars to get the really nice buns and a few extra ingredients, you can make your hamburger into french fries taste good in any size. Yes, you can. Yep. She says she still can't replicate restaurant quality Chinese, but the Chinese is in the cookbooks. So it's awfully close. Thank you. Kimberly, I found putting, that's because you need to add MSG to it. I guarantee you, if you take my recipes here, my, my recipes, and you add MSG to it, it's just called accent in the store in the seasoning aisle, then it will taste like the Chinese restaurants. Kimberly says, I found putting salt and pepper and a few drops of Italian dressing on subs makes it taste awfully close to Subway. Yep, I bet it does. Donise made three bean with chili and tomato, added barbecue sauce and bacon piece and a little bacon grease. Can I say it was delicious? Cooked in the crock pot and made banana bread today. Yum. She froze beans for three days. Good job. <laughs> Barbara made our granola bars out of volume one. I can taste every ingredient in the butter. They're on another level than basic kids granola bars. Even better. Aren't they delicious? Even better warm, she says. <laughs> Uh, next one. Uh, Peggy, yes, I love all your videos. She says we're awesome. Thank you. Teresa, have to check it out. Where do you see them? What were we talking about when she posted that? Do you remember? What was it? Where do we see them? Uh, where do we see the tip videos? Oh, I'm just uh, adding so them into the regular videos. So, on YouTube. Yeah. So a lot of people on the Facebook side had no idea. Uh, but if you go to YouTube and go for Living on a Dime to Grow Rich, you'll find it there. I'm posting those as our regular in between the live show videos now. And I like doing them a lot better. Because I just have billions of tips in my head all the time. <laughs> yep. Um, Oops. Okay. All right, let's see. Da, 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 da. Did that come? Diana loves the coleslaw. Thank you. That's in volume one. Isn't that delicious? That's my grandma's coleslaw recipe. Wanda, I haven't seen the tip videos. Oh, yes. So go look on YouTube. And they're weird titles now. I'm sorry, guys, but you know what? It's part of the YouTube world, and we just have to do it if we want to stay in business. And so, um, so we're doing crazy names like everyone will be running to the grocery store after seeing these brilliant ideas. <laughs> but it's true. It's not a lie. That's a dumb picture of me taking an onion out of the fridge. Really? Hmm. Yeah, YouTube. I have a love-hate relationship with YouTube. Thank you, everyone, for loving the tip videos. I'm glad you're liking them. Belinda recently made rice for dinner and had leftovers, which I packed up and froze to be used another time. Very good. Vicky, when I have to cut a lot of vegetables, I turn to living. I turn on a living on a dime video, and time goes by quickly. Thank you. She loves watching some of the old videos and the new ones. Thank you, Michelle. I already told you, but I buy frozen steam bag and a mix in mixed veggies. Yep, I do that too. Larry, frozen frozen veggies are good out of season. Yes, Susan, I am addicted to living on a dime. If you 
own. I am watching, even relaxing with Tara. Keep sending out the good info. You're welcome. Thank you. Yay. I'm addicted to Tara, too. She's pretty amazing. Oh. Except I don't call her Tara. I call her Tara G. <laughs> yeah. When you, like, Why are you calling me that? Stop it. Yeah. Usually, it's, I want to freak her out because she calls me Michael with a certain tone of voice. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to put on my tombstone when I die? Uh, God save the queen. <laughs> mm. Grandma so happy says, my mom found buying frozen mini meatballs were cheaper than her buying the meat. It might be. Yeah, just check the check the prices. Darlene, any advice on freezing orange and lemons? Ooh, that's a hard one. I mean, I would just freeze the zest or the peels. But otherwise, you're just going to have to juice them, I would think. Ginny, we do not have any pets anymore. Um, we had three cats and a dog at one point, and that was good. We, we were finished. Crystal, what do you guys think of Costco versus just buying what we need from Aldi? It is just my husband and I, so there's not a ton I would need in bulk. It is not worth it. No, just go to Aldi. Costco does not save money. They have some really interesting different things, but it does not save money. Tanya says, we don't eat out often, but I always try to use coupons if we do. Good job. What grocery stores do we have? Um, so we have Walmart, Albertsons, and a store called Ridley's, which is um, Food Lion kind of thing. Yeah. Um, Emily says she remembers Irma Bombach saying she's a comedian. Gravy is a beverage. That's funny. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, my. She says, I remember the one year you did a live signing of your cookbooks. That was a lot you signed. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Oh. The one Maybe the, I should do that. The one up at the park? No, the one in the living room. Maybe we should do that. Oh, that. Maybe we should go live on oh, Monday. I thought you meant when we had when we had to get together and all those people came to the park. Maybe we should go live on Monday. And everybody who orders during the show, I'll sit there and sign books while we're live. And everybody who orders during the show. <laughs> that would be cool. We'll send them a signed book. That would be cool. Oh, you think that would work? Yeah, you'll get a hand cramp, but yes. What do you guys think? Type one if I should do it, type two if I shouldn't. Well, I'm curious. Kimberly says, I'm even getting away from all the convenience foods. I made my husband Hot Pockets, homemade Hot Pockets. Very good. Yes, those are so good, aren't they? Great way to use ham after Easter. Yep. Okay, let's see what they're saying here. Do they? Oh, they all think that's a good idea. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. I would like to make our goal to sell enough books so that we can pay off everything and we don't have to worry about it. Yes. Would that be wonderful? Well, we were on that track. <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll life happens. There. We'll get there again. Life happens. <laughs> I'm dealing with it better. I'm dealing with it better. Uh, Jacqueline Walmart has great value milk chocolate bars on sale for 99 cents. Wow. Kimberly, the grass is always greener over the septic tank. Is that not the truth? <laughs> and the compost pile. <laughs> Kimberly, I'll make homemade coleslaw out of the cookbook and my husband just can't get enough of it. I know he hates other coleslaw. I can't stand store coleslaw. I'm like, oh my goodness, please don't make me gag this down. What's funny, Kimberly, is today I went and edited all of your tips for that you sent me, and I'm going to be adding some of yours in there. You guys, you had some really good tips. You guys are sharing some really good tips on there. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm screenshotting the comments, and then I'm going to do my viewers' tips too. 
And I'll put your screenshot of your tip up there when I do it. Is it worth buying a flat griddle? So I use mine a lot. I have a regular griddle in the house. I don't have a barbecue griddle. I would love to have a barbecue griddle. Do they mean like the big flat one? Yeah. Okay. But every time I find one on Facebook Marketplace, it gets sold like that. Wow. So I would love to have a barbecue griddle. I think that would be the coolest thing ever. But I'm not about to go spend $300 on one. <laughs> and so, yeah. Emily, super easy pheasant recipes coming up. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll make a hat to boot. <laughs> oh, but they're so pretty. I mean, of course, if we're hungry, we eat them. Man, it's funny the when the the male pheasants crow, they sound like a rooster, but where something's wrong with this crower. <laughs> yeah, it was funny because it was snowing the other day, and all the birds were tweeting, and the pheasants were doing their crowing thing. And it was so funny hearing all that with the snow falling. It was it was really weird. Um, you can send me the next one. Um Let's see. There was something I was going to say, and I can't remember what it was. Well, Mike's giving me the next comments, guys. Our Mother's Day sale is right now. 40% off. Oh, there's our red velvet cake. Speaking of which, right there. Easy recipes get you in and out of the kitchen quick. We have white cake. What cake is really delicious. I'm working on cooking through the cookbooks on our super easy recipes. Oh, Italian cream cake. Oh, that would be a wonderful birthday. Oh, if your husband likes coconut or pecans. That is really good. It's not for you. It's for her husband. Uh, if he likes coconut or pecans, <laughs> he would love the Italian cream cake. Mike does not like nuts. I like almonds. Okay. What else was it? What is it? What's on there? Pecans and coconut. It's so good. Oh, so good. Mm. Carrot cake would be another good one. Volume two has our carrot cake, the blue one. Millie says she will be getting volume two, the blue one. Soon, I still have not received the email, the free email of volume one. So does she mean that when we gave out the free eBooks? Yeah, so if you if you got one of those free eBooks and you never received the email, or if you buy an eBook and you never received the email. Check your spam first. Check your spam first. And if you don't find it, then contact us and we'll send you send it to you. But uh, I, we sometimes hear people say, well, I ordered an eBook three months ago and I haven't seen it. The email comes instantly when you click when you click buy. So like if you didn't get it in 30 seconds, then something's wrong. Usually, if that happens, it goes into a spam filter and people just don't see that it's there. So, yeah. but if you can't find it, let us know and we'll resend it. But you got to contact us, livingonadime.com. Yep. Stephanie just got two grapevine plants marked down to $2 each. Okay, I'm officially jealous. Wow. Belinda, he also loves cheesecake. Oh, ooh, 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 <gasps> ooh, volume two. Go to Super Easy Recipes on YouTube, and I just did a whole thing on cheesecakes. Go check it out. Oh, yeah. Cheesecake would be great, too. Larry, my cats do a, jo a good job of convincing the rabbits to go elsewhere. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Leanne, Dell's food cake is delicious. Oh, yeah. That's in volume one. Jim says, Mike, you cleaned your plate. The mystery of what you ate made us watch. See, I'm sorry, dear. He's not saying it was your... Good looks. Tommy Alderman would disagree. <laughs> Only because he's making fun of you. Hey, he's my he's show my him your come hither. He's my friend. Come here, show him your come hither. You have hither to go to look. Tommy's channel to see that. Show him your come hither. Oh wait, Tommy's not doing it these days. No. So show him your come hither. You're gonna put me on the spot. <laughs> no, that was a dumb version of it. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, Tommy Alderman over at Alderman Farms. 
thought it was hilarious when we were visiting and we were all doing silly faces. And so he got a picture and then he used a picture of me doing that face as the startup for their, as the countdown for their Do videos. Do you have it on your computer? That one I don't have. Oh. Um, he used it as a startup on their shows for like two years. <laughs> Jennifer says, if you use the pancake recipe, you will never buy pan boxed pancakes mix again. Thank you. Isn't it delicious? Oh, and it's so easy. <laughs> Linda, I love that you guys show real life on your channels. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not cl even close to being Pinterest perfect. And Kathy likes it because I'm real. Thank you. And Jenny needs to order the gluten-free cookbook. Yes, right here. Sunset Heritage Farm says, I'm ordering two sets of volume one and two for myself and to give my 17-year-old son. Thank you, Lori. Excuse me, True Joy. Greetings. Getting ready to make banana cake recipe in volume one, the red book. Isn't that delicious? That is the best. That is, yeah. Um... NC says, funny, I was in a team meeting yesterday. Other coworkers think that eating from DoorDash is almost the same price as groceries now. Oh, my word. But you know what? Uh, I have to think a lot of people hear things on the Internet and they believe them without checking. Because I've noticed that some people say, oh, it's cheaper to eat out now. You can't even afford to go get groceries. It's just cheaper to eat out. Like, that's totally a crock. But the thing is that people... People believe it because some YouTuber said it and they don't check it. So like, I have kids that are door dashing. And when the one that's here does it, maybe I should ride along sometime and see what these people buy. It probably doesn't say what's in their order, though. It probably well, just maybe says. Maybe not, but you could probably tell a lot by the place where, they, where it comes from. Hmm. Yeah, door dash is pretty pricey. Heather says, yeah, you got to catch him with those catchy titles. I know, I know the titles, got to do it, yeah. Pamela says, I'm She's good at it, too. <laughs> well, I just go and look at other people's titles that are getting millions of views, and instead of them saying, everyone's going to the Dollar Tree to buy blah, 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 I say, everyone's going to the grocery store to buy blah, 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 and insert my store and my item, I mean... <laughs> Well, people must like it because we can see how long okay. people watch, not how long individual people watch videos, but how long people uh, on average watch videos and it must be work. It must be okay because people don't yeah. come. If they came and left, then they wouldn't yeah. like the title. But if they come and stay, then they must figure that they got what they came for. Yeah. Um, Linda, thanks for another wonderful live show. You're welcome. She says, God bless you from Australia. Thank you so much. Ooh. Um, Kathy. Oh, she'll let us know how her dessert turns out. Thank you. Tell us on Monday. We're going to be on Monday. Kathy, the one thing I love most about the cookbooks is the ingredients are usually what I have in my pantry. That is great. Isn't it easy? I tried to make it so everything was already what you have on hand. Margaret, I made your two ingredient biscuits with yogurt and self-rising flour. My husband loved them. Aren't those delicious? You can go to livingonadime.com and get the recipe. Just type in two ingredients. Heather Mountain says, Tara Jean. <laughs> Margaret, I made your two ingredient biscuits. Oh, wait, I got that one. Joyce, I see a lot of people complain about prices, not here, but willing, not willing to change their mindset about how they are shopping and won't stop eating out. I know, when we go on our taco dates, it's full. What's full? And there's a line waiting oh, the for the yeah. restaurant. Mike and I split a meal, but my goodness, a lot of those families go in there and they spend 150 bucks. Well, then they just kind of dabble at the food and leave most of it on the plate. I don't get it. Patriot 40 says, I found hand, what, soap maybe? Maybe ham. Today at Walmart, clearance $109 and $1.29 a pound. Really good deal or just okay? So if it's ham, you can get it lower, but that's that's not an exceptional deal, but it's a good deal. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a good deal. Crystal, my husband and I are in our late 20s and debt-free, including our house. We scrimped and saved, but I can't help but feel guilty that all my friends are struggling so much. Do you guys feel that? No! You worked your darn tootin' butt off, huh? You worked hard! Do not feel guilty at all! Oh, my goodness! What was it? 
They're in their 20s and they're totally debt free. You should be celebrating and excited. You can retire in 10 years if you want. No. I, I would not feel guilty at all. If your friends want to go squander their money and spend their entire lives killing themselves at jobs they hate, let them go for it. But you shouldn't feel guilty about it. And you shouldn't pay for their stuff either. Like if you're going out to eat and everything and they find out that you're doing really good, no, it's not your responsibility. Well, because you, you did an awesome job. Yeah. <laughs> you should be proud of yourself. Hey, that's you, great. Yeah. That's good money management. The thing is that most of the other people are struggling because they're not managing it as well as you. So, I mean, maybe maybe they're working on it and they're getting there and that's great. But, you know, I wouldn't feel bad for the awesome thing that you've done. <laughs> I wouldn't. Hello, Kimmy. Hello. Kimmy, um, glad you made it. Brittany says, do you think I'll take off the summer for making videos? Probably not. We really can't afford to this year, so um, probably Oops. won't. Um. Let's see. Hmm. Do I have a recipe for pancake syrup? Yes, I do. Jacqueline, right here, Dining on a Dime, Volume 1. And it's 50% off in the description below. Livingonadime.com, you can find the recipes also. I don't see anything. I tried making pancakes the other day, and it crystallized. I'm just wondering if you can make a video. Okay, yes, I will make a video. And I can't remember why stuff crystallizes for sugars. I think it's if you stir it. I think if it's, I don't know, you'll have to Google that one. I can't remember what the reason is. There's a specific reason why sugar syrups crystallize. Kimmy, do you know? I can't remember. And I think it's maybe if you syrup, or I mean, if you stir your syrup. Um, I don't know. Cecilia says I should ride along and make a video about door dashing. Maybe I should do that. <laughs> I should maybe do that. Um, yeah, it's funny. We have a video uh, going viral, my super easy recipes. It's getting ready to, well, it's already shot straight up just because you're good looks, honey. Yep. But I've never had a video do that well on that channel yet. And it's done 10 times as well. And um, somebody on here said the word frugal is getting a lot of clicks. But what's funny is about that video is all the the views are coming from a Google search and we can't figure out what the keywords are using. And so I, she just made me think maybe it's frugal, but that would be weird. I don't even know if the word's frugal is in well, that frugal one. frugal by itself is such a short tail keyword, I know. keyword phrase. It would be nearly impossible to be up at that high. Yeah. Kathy, I do have a this quick recipe in volume one. Kimmy, she's in her apron. Take time off. Blah, ha, ha. Yeah. <laughs> time off. What's that? I know. Well, what's funny is even when I take off from videos, I haven't actually taken off from the business. I did last summer. I really forced myself. I didn't do anything. I didn't talk about it. Nothing, did I? And I mostly didn't talk about it. After about three or four days, you're like, I'm bored. I'm <laughs> bored. Bored, 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 bored. And then about... Three weeks before you were supposed to be done, you're like, well, I'm planning all these plans. I said, like, you're not supposed to be working. You're like, well, I have to be ready when I get back to it. So, but you did take a little bit of time off in there. I did about six weeks or so. Well, she was out gardening and doing stuff like that a lot. And that the was, problem was is nice I take off and it doesn't actually make me feel any better when I take off. I mean, I wish it would, but it just keeps me from doing that. But Kimmy says she thinks it might be the keyword frugal, but I don't think I used the keyword frugal in that video though. I think it, I think it's the pot roast key, keyword that's going. So it's kind of interesting, but it's, it's absolutely going berserk. It's our number one video. I'm completely shocked. And just be thankful. I am. I mean, I'm, I'm tr really, really thankful. But look, it's just boom. <laughs> just look at that. Boom. Nice. Here, I'll show you guys the boom. Hold on just a second. Let's see. Present. Share screen. Share screen. Are we allowed to show all that detail? Yeah. See? Look at that. Boom. It just goes straight up. So that's really good. 
<laughs> so hopefully it'll keep going straight up. And um, Kimmy says, but the title is great. Yeah, but how many videos can I do with my husband asked for this for dinner for every night? <laughs> They're going to start thinking, like, my goodness. My teenagers <laughs> beg for this. <laughs> what do you mean? Have them going. I <laughs> <laughs> think I could get Jack and Dave to start doing thumbnails for me. <laughs> that would be awesome. Uh, that's funny. That is totally funny. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Oh, she says he also just jumped into the recipe, which is great. Yeah. Yeah. What's F O M O mean? Oh, she told uh fear of missing out. Oh, fear of missing out. Yeah. Oh. You gotta get with it. You gotta talk to Kimmy more so you can get more of those things about the OGs and the FOMO and all that. <laughs> Yeah, we were talking to our oldest, and he's doing YouTube uh, affiliates and stuff. And he's like, yeah, one of my videos is going crazy, he said. And I sit in there, I did a review, and I said, it's so easy. Your grandma could do it. Everybody keeps telling me I should have my grandma do it. So now he's going to ask mom <laughs> <laughs> she could sign up for it. <laughs> I don't know if she could or not. Oh, fear of missing out. Yeah. Yeah. Jim says you're a great model. Let's oh, see thanks. your come hither look again. Let me see. Let me see what it looks like on camera. Here. <laughs> you look like you're going to <laughs> All right. I'll just go to Tommy's for a while. <laughs> yes. All the links for my other channels are in the description below. Claire is saying, please link to super easy recipes. Uh, I've shared it there. Also, um, oh, you know, I forgot to update it today, but uh, if you're ever missing a link from the show, I usually try to put all the links that we share on the show uh, on our show notes at livingonadime.com. Yeah. There's a, a, one of the links above is to get the show notes. Pamela says, yes, you need to stir the sugar so it doesn't crystallize. Okay. So stir your pancake syrup so it doesn't crystallize that. I knew it was one way or the other. I couldn't remember. Um. She's in her apron. Get in that comments of the video even more. It will grow you more. Yes, I have been. I've been trying every day to go in and a couple times a day and comment too. Oh, she wants the gluten-free link. The link to gluten-free, Eclair says. Uh, to the gluten-free so, book? Yeah. Or maybe the gluten-free channel. I haven't posted anything on the gluten-free channel because I've been so overwhelmed with living on a dime and super easy. Uh, the gluten-free print book. I don't know if that's what I'll she's meaning. That. Oops. 50% off guys. Mother's Day sale right now. We only have the sale uh, three other times. So go grab the book while you can get it 50% off. Monday, I will sign books as we're doing the live show. What? How's that sound? And All any right. books we sell during the live show on Monday, if you order during the live show, I will sign it for you. Oh, she was looking for the super the super easy link. Well, anyway, the gluten-free bread book link is in there now, too. All right. That sounds good. All right, guys. Please visit us at livingonadime.com. We will see you Monday. Mike and I will be on. Have a good night. We will see you next time. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye.